the biggest confusion for anyone who is starting photography is which camera to buy and there are some things that you have to keep in mind such as your budget your shooting style and whether or not if you are looking for a particular feature in your camera but if you are someone who is just willing to get a camera and start shooting the only thing that you have to keep in mind is your budget and frankly that won't matter much because in today's world there is no such thing as a bad camera so no matter whatever your budget is you will find a good camera for yourself but as a professional i'll recommend start small get a crop sensor camera first instead of a full frame camera even if you have the money use that money to travel and learn new things about photography still if you guys want me to name a camera i'll suggest go with sony's a6400 it comes loaded with features such as animal and human eye autofocus in which you just have to half press the camera shutter button and the camera automatically focuses on the eye so that will save a lot of time for you instead of adjusting your focus you can use that time to click more pictures so there you go according to me you can get any camera that you want still if you want to you can go ahead and check out sony's a6400 you are already doing it youtube is the best place to learn photography you can get all the technical knowledge that you want and that too for free all you have to do is subscribe to my channel so that you never miss another video from my side even i learn the basics from youtube searching through some random photography videos just like you are doing so i don't really think that you need to pay any institution to get some technical knowledge about photography but for practical knowledge you are going to need some professional help and the best way to do so would be to attend photography tours and photography workshops because there you can click pictures under the guidance of a professional photographer and you can get your work reviewed instantly so speaking from my personal experiences nothing will help you better other than attending these workshops and tours First of all there is nothing wrong with the camera or your lenses. You just need to understand the light of your surroundings and how you can adjust your camera settings according to them in manual mode. Now if you need a quick tutorial on manual mode you can check out my video right here. And using the manual mode you can adjust the shutter speed of your camera which is usually the culprit of blurry images. So basically you can just rise up your shutter speed and that will help you solve the problem. But there are some other things that you should also check like your focus is on point and your lens is not dirty. Now the best lenses would be the kit lens that came with your camera and a 50mm f1.8 prime lens. The kit lens of yours is going to give you all the different perspectives using all those different focal lengths. And a 50mm prime lens will help you improve your photography in a lot of ways. For example, as it is a fixed focal length lens, you will have to move yourself in order to zoom in and zoom out. and putting in little efforts like that will always improve your photography also the image quality on that lens is just amazing and it will surely blow you away so start with your kit lens and whenever you have the money do buy a 50mm prime lens there are a lot of ways to do it first would be to drop down your aperture value to its lowest and secondly you can create a good amount of distance between your subject and your background and thirdly you can try to zoom in if you have a zoom lens but the most effective way would be to use that prime lens that we talked about because when you drop down the aperture to f1.8 it will not only give you that blurry background but you will get some amazing bokeh in the background as well i think you know the answer by now yes you need to shoot in manual so that you can learn how your camera actually works by using all the camera settings yourself and once you have learned that you can try out other modes like shutter priority and aperture priority but if you are serious about photography stop using that auto mode Well shooting raw is always good. It gives you a lot more details and you can easily use those details to bring up the darker areas in your frames and post processing softwares. But for example if you are in a place where your frame is being evenly exposed, you don't need to shoot in raw. So for me, uh shooting raw is not a compulsion, but it is always a better option to have so that you can edit your photos later on in post processing softwares like Lightroom or Photoshop. If you are editing on a PC you should try Lightroom and Photoshop. And if you are editing on a mobile my two favorites are Google Snapseed and Lightroom Mobile. First of all you are going to need a portfolio for yourself so that you can show your pictures to clients in order to get work from them. And frankly you can make money in any genre of photography. But the easiest would be wedding photography. You can start by contacting your nearby photo studios and tell them that you can work as a freelancer for them. fear the word fear means two things forget everything and run or face everything and rise so to overcome your fears you have to face them and you can start by clicking pictures in your neighborhood or any public place that you are already familiar with 
And if you are going to some place new, try going there with a friend or a fellow photographer. And it's not that difficult. Even I used to feel that fear when I started photography. But now I really enjoy going out and meeting new people and taking their photographs. And a tip for that would be to greet them with smiles. And also try to understand their body languages. And if someone is getting uncomfortable, it's better to leave them alone. So to sum it up, to overcome your fear, you have to face it. Okay, so this was it for this video. If you guys still have any questions left regarding photography, you can leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.